Good day to you and welcome to another Paddocks Club video tutorial. Today I'm going to talk quickly about communal DSTV dish installation in sectional title schemes. Now, the first thing to be aware of is that this is clearly an improvement to the common property and one has to take into account the costs of installation and of maintenance, the cost of connections from the main dish through to the individual properties, to the sections um, or other residential areas within the scheme. Prescribed Management Rule 33.2 sets out the requirements for a non-luxurious improvement and one must ask whether in any circumstances it could be argued that this might be in fact a luxurious improvement. Well, people will always argue that because if, of course, they, they, that, they are win that argument, then individually they can frustrate it by simply refusing to agree, voting against it um, at, a, at a meeting. But in practice, in the modern day, I think it would be very hard to argue that access to religious and news channels is a complete luxury. I think it would be an unusual person who could stand up and say, this is not a reasonably necessary part of ordinary life. So I don't think that that is a big danger. I think it's always going to be a non-luxurious improvement. And that brings us on then to the prescribed management rule 33.2 requirements for such an improvement to the common property. It starts with a proposal by the trustees and they set out in that proposal the costs, the financing plan and the effect it's going to have on levies. They have to motivate the proposal, the need, desirability, etc., why it's a good idea. And they have to give notice of their intention to proceed unless somebody wants to talk about it. Well, if any owner does ask for a meeting to discuss the detail, then they must call the meeting and a special resolution is then required to approve their proposals, perhaps as adjusted at that meeting. Um, a thing that came up in the, uh, in the discussion forum recently was existing legal dishes. What happens? Let's say, for example, that there are dishes where the trustees have given permission. Now, those people can't be forced to remove those dishes um, they, and then connect to the communal dish, um, either or both at their own expense. What they're doing is perfectly in line with the permissions they've been given. They're, these are authorized alterations to the common property, additions of their own property, um, you know, which, which, which serve a useful purpose. But they could be induced to join into the communal communal DSTV uh, antenna by the body corporate offering to pay. Of course, then the question may arise, is that expense actually necessary or could they just be, uh, be left to connect separately? My suggestion is that if aesthetics, the look of the place, uh, is a major driver for the communal dish, then this aspect, the cost um, of, of getting people to uh, all linked up to one central system should be dealt with specifically in the PMR 33 proposal that the trustees make. Thank you for joining me in this Paddocks Club tutorial and we can discuss this further in the discussion forum.